all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend tarot so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general love reading so we're going to find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind before i begin if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading my information is down below and i am offering a coupon for 20 dollars off so that will also be in the description box okay but let's see what's going on let's get an overall theme okay what is the overall theme for you and this person okay so we have twin flame okay so <laughs> this could be someone that you have a very intense connection with some of you guys may be labeling it twin flame or maybe this person feels like you're their twin flame but typically when this card comes out there's what it signifies is that there's an intensity to the connection there's like a sense of There is a spiritual aspect to it. There is a spiritual connection, but there's just something very intense about it, okay? So this could be how you're feeling. This could be how this person is feeling. We also have self-worth. So I'm feeling here that what could be a block for you and this person right now um, is it's like you feel a strong connection, but there's feelings of, well, maybe I'm not good enough for this person, or this person could be feeling that way about you. Yeah, because we have free will. So typically when this card comes out, this indicates that maybe someone is straying from the connection, like, um, you know, feels the intensity of the connection, but choosing to exercise their free will and potentially go elsewhere because of self-worth issues. So this could be that you're running from someone that you feel an intense connection to, or this person feels an intense connection with you and is running from you. Okay, so if that resonated, let's go into the tarot and see what's going on. Okay, so what is coming through? Yeah, I'm getting like a runner. I'm just feeling like someone ran away from the connection. And both of you felt the same way. Like both of you felt a strong connection, but you have someone running because whoever is running doesn't feel like they're worthy. But I actually think both of you guys are dealing with self-worth um, issues, but um, it's playing out differently. Yeah, okay, so you guys are on a pause right now with this person. We've got the hangman. So this connection has stagnated. Maybe nothing has progressed for the two of you. We've got the queen of wands. Oh, two cards. We've got the queen of wands and the ace of wands in reverse. So this could be, an, uh, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or, they, or you could be, or they could be. Okay, the other th thing that I'm getting is that this connection between you and this person has been very on and off. It is not something that has been like a consistent, stable love. This feels like very on and off. I'm getting like, again, I'm getting an intensity. That was the word that came through. First off, when I pulled this energy, I'm getting the word intense. You have an intense connection with this person. But the problem sometimes with intense connections is that it can breed a lot of like issues if two people aren't really fully strong in themselves because i'm seeing here inconsistency i'm seeing jealousy i'm seeing control issues so potentially this is what came up to the surface between the two of you which now maybe that's why you guys are on a pause so it's almost like yes there is this fire to this connection right like we have the fire energy here we got the fire behind these people there's a lot of passion be with you and this person problem is um, oh shoot, I grabbed the wrong messages deck. Hold on one sec. Okay, so the problem is like, essentially, being able to stabilize <coughs> the intensity of this connection. Because it brings up a lot of insecurities, I feel like, for both of you. So what's coming through? Page of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Eight of Wands. So I'm seeing here, there's someone here who wants to talk, someone who's open to communication, wants to communicate, and then we have someone here who's holding back communication. Two different energies, right? Two cards of like communication, one in reverse, one upright. So I'm getting here that there's maybe someone who's been trying to reach out, so trying to communicate, wanting to talk about things. The other person has been withdrawing and withdrawing. So let's take a look and see. So the person that you're connected to, what is their message for you? What do they want to say? What does this person want to say to you? We have in a few days. So we'll find out what is happening in a few days. I just looked up and it was 444. Maybe this person feels like they need some time to do something. For some of you guys, if you reached out to this person, you haven't heard from them. It could be that they're going to say something in a few days. But let's take a look and see 
Oh my gosh, see, look at this. Our chemistry is too intense. What was I saying about the word intense? This is what I mean. I kept getting the word intense. There's something very strong about this connection, but sometimes, again, like see this person is saying to you, it's too intense, like I'm feeling too much for you, right? There, so when you have someone who you feel a strong connection to, it's a good thing, but it's it, be, it becomes a problem when someone doesn't feel worthy of it. And that's what I'm getting here is like, the for this person specifically, I'm not gonna speak for you because we're not looking into your energy specifically at this moment, but what I'm getting from this person, it could be the same for you as well, but what I'm getting from this person is that they are feeling like it's almost too overwhelming, this connection, like it feels too strong, the the interest, the, the passion, it's, it's scary to this person, okay? Um, so it could be that they need more time. Again, we're gonna look at what this means in a few days, but this is exactly what I was saying. We have, I'm thinking about a proposal, okay? So this person is definitely thinking about long-term with you. This person has thought about marriage, has thought about a proposal. Um, I just heard, I don't wanna mess this up. So that could be what this person is thinking, like I don't wanna F this up, I don't wanna mess this up. Maybe they feel like in a few days they're gonna do something. We have, you're the best I've ever had, okay? So this person definitely is comparing you to other people. Again, there's something about the intensity of this connection and like the attraction and the passion. So I feel like this person has been with a lot of people sexually is what I'm feeling from this person, but they're saying to you, you're the best that I've ever had, okay? Again, this lends to this idea of like you and this person have so much passion and have so much attraction for each other. They're just trying to figure out how to manage this and we have, I'm scared of vulnerability, okay? Um, yeah, it makes sense. It really makes sense. Like, this message is, like, this whole reading is becoming, like, very, very, very clear, just as a reader. Like, it's just a very clear message because I think that for you guys, I'm going to pull a few cards for you. A lot of you are probably confused by this person, mainly because I think you can sense how strong this connection is, and you may even feel this person's energy, especially if you do have some sort of a soul connection. And so some of you may get confused when this person like withdraws from you, or when this person is inconsistent with you, or when this person like doesn't follow through with things. So this is giving you an idea of what's going on with this person. Now I'm not making excuses for this person, but at least it's giving you a little bit of insight into why they're so like up and down or back and forth with you. Um, so let's see what this is in a few days. Clarify in a few days. We have three of swords. Interesting. Let's see. Let's get one more. In a few days, we have the three of swords. We have the nine of cups. Okay, so I feel like this person knows that they hurt you with something. Like, um, they're planning on making you happy again in a few days. So I get the sense that they may have done something and it could be related to the communication. And they're realizing like, okay, I need to fix something in a few days. So if you guys were really hurt by something that this person did, they're planning on fixing it and making you happy again in a few days. Okay. Um, I just want to get a clarifier here for the, I chemi our chemistry is too intense. The magician in reverse, yeah. It's too much, it's like, um, you know what I'm even feeling? Like this person may have used like manipulation tactics even in this connection, or potentially started acting in a very like wounded way. Um, and some of you guys may be confused by that, but I'm almost getting that this person might have tried to like push you away because they're feeling that the situation was too intense. Again, not making excuses, but giving you insight into what's going on with this person. So let's pull a card for you. What's coming through for you? We have summer and we have metamorphosis. So I'm getting here that um, what's interesting for you is it seems like you're doing a lot of self work. Like you're, I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, summertime could be significant, but I'm just getting that this is a period of time for you or the past few months for you has been about growth, has been about change. Maybe you guys have gone through a lot of changes. You've been shifting, you've been evolving. Um, it almost feels like you're not overly focused on this person is what I'm getting. I don't see like you like, you know, 
intensely kind of thinking about this person, which is interesting because obviously you guys do have this tense and connection, but I'm getting more so you're putting all of that intensity onto yourself, it feels like, like into growing, into being stronger, into focusing on you, which could be why this person is feeling so strongly towards you and why they may be saying something in a few days because it looks like a lot of you guys have been really focused on self. So what is your energy towards this person? What is your energy towards this person? The Page of Cups. Okay, yeah, so I feel like you guys may be hoping for some sort of apology from this person or wanting some sort of like initiative. You know, the Page of Cups can talk about an apology but can also just talk about like some sort of love offer. Again, especially if you guys did reach out to this person and you hadn't heard from them, you may be hoping for some sort of a response or some sort of a message. Yeah, because right now you're holding back. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back because you may know that this person needs to make that move towards you. Okay, so what else does this person want to say to you? Yeah, we have romantic feelings. Okay, so if you weren't already aware, <laughs> obviously this person has romantic feelings for you. And we have I'm single now. Okay, so for this person, for, so for some of you guys, this person could have been involved at some point. Maybe there was a love triangle. This person is saying to you, I'm single now, for those of you. Um, this person may become single very soon, and that could be why we have the Three of Swords, because it could potentially be that this person needed to put an end to something first before they came towards you. So that could be why they're saying in a few days, this person may be going through a breakup right now so that they're single and available for you. Um, it could be that they're already single as well, okay? And then we have, I feel guilty. Yeah, so I think for a lot of you guys, an apology is coming through from this person. You know, they have a fear of vulnerability, but they are thinking ahead to a proposal, like I said, right? You know, we have, we have, I'm thinking about a proposal. I don't know if this is like an actual proposal, but I think this is like just making some sort of offer, right? You know, and we have here, you're the best that I've ever had. So if this person is with someone else, like I said, or if they were involved, it's like, again, no one really compares to you. And I think this person already knew that. What I'm getting is that this person may have ran from you because, again, it was too intense. So they may have settled in another connection where, you know, the intensity wasn't there. So the fear wasn't there for this person. And now they're feeling guilty for what they did. So let's clarify and see. Why is this here? I feel guilty. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the devil wanted to come out. Oh, my God. The devil with the two of cups. We have Capricorn energy, okay? So this person feels guilty because they know they have this connection with you and they've been fighting it. They know it. They feel guilty because they've been denying the intensity of this connection. You know, it's like the devil and the two of cups. This combination together is very interesting because I feel like that really kind of um, symbolizes the twin flame card if you think about it because you've got this like very beautiful connection and then attached to it is a devil which kind of just amplifies it I don't even see the devil in a toxic way in this in this combination because the two of cups is such a very pure energy the devil to me more so brings out the um, the intensity aspect that I was saying like the devil it's like the the draw to the person the you know, that passion, that desire is so strong, but also not only that, not only is it like a very strong desire, there's also a purity to this connection as well. There is the soulmate connection. There is an emotional bond that the two of you feel. So because of that, you know, they're feeling guilty that they ran from this. They're feeling guilty that they didn't feel worthy of this. And that again, I think this person might have like either stayed in a relationship that they weren't that fulfilled in, or they got involved with someone that they weren't that fulfilled in. And you know, they're, they're recognizing that they made a, a mistake here. And I do think that you're going to get an apology from this person. I think you guys know that. I feel like you guys are connected to this person potentially telepathically, and you can feel that this person is planning on apologizing to you. So what does spirit have to say about this? What does spirit have to say about this connection? For those of you who are resonating, okay, we have crossroads. Yeah, so right now things are stagnated, right? And I feel like right now this person that you're thinking about is at a crossroads, okay? They have to make some sort of clear decision, whether that decision is I need to leave who I'm with, I need to reach out, I need to, whatever it is, but they're just at this crossroads. So I'm getting here that you guys are being called to just continue to focus on yourself. And I think that's what you're already doing here with the metamorphosis in the summer card. Yeah, the six of pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you, 
Um, yeah, wow, look at that. We have six, six. We have six of pentacles and the six of wands. Keep giving to yourself. Keep giving to yourself because it's boosting you up. You're coming through as very confident. Keep focusing on you is what I'm getting. Um, the other thing I'm message that I'm getting, some of you may be like, what? If there are other people interested in you, don't turn down options. Like, keep your options open here. Like, don't, don't, like, wait for this person to come around to you. Even though you feel an intensity with this person, there may be other lessons that you can learn with other people that you date, because who knows when this person will be ready. So, um, I know this is kind of an odd message, but I'm just getting here to, like, not turn down other options. Like, if there are other people that you're interested in, or if there are other people that are interested in you, you know, maybe you can learn things from those people. Um, and maybe there are lessons that you need to learn with other people. So, I'm getting here to not turn down other potential potential candidates just because you put, you may be waiting for someone that you have a stronger um, attraction to. doesn't mean you like sleep with a bunch of people, but be open to like, you know, connecting with other people as well. So that's what I have for you. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book your own personal reading, I am offering $20 off. The link is down below, but I'm sending you guys absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.